Let's take a look at custom record types. The first step in understanding custom record types is to know how to create them. There are two main ways to create a custom record type. First, you could navigate to customization, list records and fields, record types, new. Alternatively, you could select the new type button on the list of custom record types. To access this page, navigate to customization, list records and fields, record types. When you create a custom record type, you will have several settings to consider. First, there are several settings in the field group at the top of the custom records type page. In this field group, you will name your record type, provide an optional script ID, and write a brief description of the record type. You also have some key display options. For example, you can decide whether or not you want a required name field to show on the record with the include name field checkbox. If you check this, then new records created for this type will all have names rather than being automatically designated numbers that represent the order of their creation. Other display checkbox options include show creation date, show last modified, and show owner. For each of those options, you can determine whether you want the information to be displayed on the record itself, on the list of records, or both. You can also designate certain permissions and user interface settings. For example, you can determine whether the record type can be accessed from the user interface as opposed to just through SuiteScript with the checkbox Allow UI Access. You can enable the record type to show on NetSuite's mobile app with the checkbox Allow Mobile Access. And you can designate the access required for this record type with the Access Type drop-down list. You have three access types to choose from. Require custom record entries permission, use permissions list, and no permission required. Next, there are file and child record settings. For example, some of the file settings include the checkbox Allow Attachments, which ensures that files in the file cabinet can be attached to these types of records, as well as the checkbox Show Notes, which provides a notes subtab on each record of this type. Some of the child record settings include records are ordered, enabling you to change the order child records appear, Show Remove Link, providing a link which will allow users to remove the child record from the parent record and allow child record editing, which enables users to edit the child record directly from the parent record. Note that Allow Child Record Editing will be available only if Show Remove Link has been checked. When creating a custom record type, there are several subtabs to consider. The first two subtabs are subtabs and sublists. On these subtabs, you can designate which subtabs and sublists will appear on your new record type. Under the Icon tab, you can choose an icon to appear with your record type, and the Numbering tab allows you to customize how new records in this record type will be numbered. The Permissions tab allows you to designate who has access to this record type. If you selected Use Permissions list in the Access Type list above, then this is where you would create that list. The Links tab enables you to provide a link on any given record of this type to the list of all the records of this type, and the Managers tab allows you to choose employees as managers of this record type. The final subtab is Translations, and here you can provide translations of the record type name into the languages that are included in your instance of NetSuite. In the event that you need to edit a custom record type, you can do that by going to the list of custom records, customization, list records and fields, record types, and selecting the record you wish to edit in the edit column. On this page, you can edit virtually every aspect of the record type except fields like ID and internal ID. One notable change that you can make on this page is arranging the organization of fields on this record type and or adding new fields. This option is significant because there are actually no field options available to you when you first create the record type. For more in-depth study of custom record types, we would recommend that you check out the Sweet Answers page on custom record types. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting the like button. And to learn more about how SuiteRep can help you with all of your NetSuite needs, visit us at SuiteRep.com.